Did you see up there? What? Is it ice scoop? <laughs> So over the past year, I've developed a reputation as a live scoping YouTuber, and that's what a lot of y'all watch my channel for, because I like showing y'all the footage where other people don't. On um, videos aren't even based on live scope, I just end up doing it on accident. But today, we're gonna answer the age old question, big versus small. You know, there's been a trend recently where people have been using and upsizing to the biggest lures they possibly can for live scoping because these fish are starting to get really conditioned to these micro lures, your standard three inch, four inch Damikis. And today, Alex and I are gonna answer that question. I'm gonna be scoping with the biggest lures that I possibly can and Alex will be sm scoping with the small ones. So usually seven inch and up is for me. Alex is about four to five inches and under, if not smaller. So yeah, we're gonna get into this and I hope y'all enjoy my take on the big versus small lures, live scope edition. How was that? Terrible, good, mid, whatever, you don't care? Or is it listening? Okay, let's go freaking catch some fish. It's gotta be Gar. Let us know down below if you know what that is. Wow! Wait, that's still the dam. I thought that was the bank. Wait, I guess technically that is the bank. You know what like, my greatest fear is? That like the dam just breaks while we're right here. It's like, well, we're going for a ride, Alex. Dude, you did not just do that. Untangle. You did that. Dude, there's a boat. We're about to get run over. You're over here all knotted up, bro. All part of the plan. All part of the plan. <laughs> uh oh. Oh my god. They want the big one. They want the big one. They want your micro lure, bro. Get out of here with your little stuff. It's kind of crazy just seeing the drawing power of it so far. Oh! <laughs> Dude, the fog. Is there an airplane flying right towards us right now? <laughs> it's fine, I just wanted to drag that buoy. I think it's too big for him to fit in its mouth. It's gotta be a spot. It's gotta be. Beep, beep, beep. Watch, that's gonna be the one that eats the slur. He had it. Oh. Oh. My drag is way too loose. <laughs> Dude, my drag is like... Is that a bass? Oh, I'm freaking confused. Dude, that's awesome. Do you like my loose drag there? <laughs> Alright guys, first one of the day, nice little largemouth, biggest one so far, obviously being the first one. He wanted that. It's it's awesome to see fish this size choking a little seven inch bait. Like, look at that. Oh gosh, last tech. Oh, good. Okay, there we go. Seven inch bait next to this fish. I'm just, you know, we've been seeing marks everywhere and I'm super happy to see this guy, but healthy fish. I'm gonna get a weight on him and throw him back. Still recording. Whoops. It has to be a bass all up there like that. Shorty, like a melody in my hand. Okay, we got one in the boat so far. We're just kind of messing around here. Waiting for this fog to clear up because it's like almost 10 o'clock and the fog is still strong. But as y'all can see, it's actually starting to clear up pretty quickly. So as soon as that boy, oh shoot, as soon as that bad boy clears up, we are going to make a move. But uh, yeah, so I'll see y'all at the next spot, maybe, unless we end up, you're looking at one right now. 
It's not a big one, but you're looking at a bass. He's slacking. I'm just kidding. So far, big lures are in the lead, though. Let's get to it again. Oh, Not a catfish. Oh my gosh. Oh! Thanks for that. Is that one in the bait? Yeah. yeah. They should smoke you. I mean, these guys are all about to like, combine into them. wonder if these are spots. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this is just sad. They don't want the little one. Put a bigger one on. Like, put a freeloader on. Just stop trying. They don't want that. I'll tell you what, guys. So far, we're proving the big baits this time of year really good. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Biggin'. That's a bass. Yeah. All right, guys. Finally, got my first fish of the day. Long, skinny, smallmouth, probably 15 inches or so. And uh, I worked hard for this one, so I'm glad to have it. The little baits are working much better than, or no, reverse that. Reverse that. I'm so frazzled because I haven't caught a fish in like way too long. I'm just gonna release this one. Sick. Why did he look so big on scope? Mm -hmm. I see him. Dude, good. That was a good one. I'm gun. I mean, no, not like. We're we working way back out. Freaking deep. Where did this guy come from? <laughs> he feels weird. He was not in that group. Yeah. Here we go, guys. I was back there chillaxing a little bit and uh, Alex found a school. This guy actually did not come out of that group, but uh, yeah, we'll take him. He's cute, but I'm not gonna me bother measuring him. Little chungus here, dude. It's crazy to see how aggressive these fish are for these big baits, and they were just rejecting the small ones earlier. Oh, my back. Alrighty, guys. Today has been a grinder, to say the least. I mean, caught one decent one off the rip. Went a while, went through that fog, checked a ton of stuff. That was new to us, and didn't produce, and we finally ended up running to the next spot where Alex caught one small mouth 
And from there, another few hours till we ended up catching that spotted bass. And to say the least, it's it's just it's just been a grinder. That's all there is to it. You know, that's how fishing goes sometimes. We're not giving up, but we've really learned that these fish are keyed in on the bigger baits. If you throw that little three inch or less lure at them, they're just not interested at all. And that could be a forage issue, or I don't know if it's necessarily a forage issue, if there's just so many of those little baits right now, and the big baits just stand out. But even Alex ended up throwing on a winged fluke, and that's producing. So uh, we're going to keep going and hopefully get a few more fish in the boat. That's just how fishing goes. bass what gross dude that's a big one though i don't want to touch it keep i don't want to touch it dude look at it look at it it's so sickly oh oh get the net <laughs> actually wait i'm gonna grab it dude I it's right here dude Oh, I didn't even want to touch that, guys. That was like a four pounder. It was a four pounder, <laughs> but did you see how gross it was? I did. Yeah, I don't know what's going on there, but I don't appreciate it. No way. <laughs> no. Oh, he came up! <laughs> well, guys, if anything, this proves Alex and I know how to lose some fish, baby. I, I, I just think they're having a hard time fitting that big old dumiki in their mouth and that's kind of part of the issue but that was one of the craziest fish eats ever oh man the way he like grabbed it just blind cast on the bank grabbed it reeled it in he popped off go. and then he went back and tried scooping it and didn't scoop it hopefully that got it though but you know besides losing that dead pretty much almost dead four pounder i hope the camera caught that and that fish it kind of hurts and it's hopefully we can still catch them like we, we kind of suck you can't tell. We suck a lot. Alrighty guys. I hope you all enjoyed. You know, we learned a lot. We learned how those fish just really were not liking those small lures and adapted from there to get Alex on the big lures and get him a couple fish in the boat, a singular fish in the boat. You know, it was tough. But we learned a lot. Hopefully the footage turned out great from the active target where y'all can learn too. And you know, that's the you know, that's the goal. Every time you go out fishing is just to learn and improve as an angler and chase after them big old fish. But I'm definitely gonna be adding a seven inch Tamiki to the deck from here on out. So yeah, I'll see you on the next one. Subscribe. Dude. <laughs> 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 I was trying to get revenge for the feet picks, but <laughs> feet picks are backfiring on me. Look at them dogs. <clears throat> Continue. <laughs>